Question number 13. Protein present in hemoglobin has the structure known as A option primary, B option secondary, C option tertiary, D option quaternary, E option none of these. You know protein is made up of amino acids. Made up of amino acids. By peptide bond, I already told two amino acids can unite together by peptide bond by removing water. A sequence of amino acids can form a protein. It's just like a linear structure. And all proteins have this linear structure. Basically, all proteins have this linear structure and it is called primary structure. But in some proteins, this primary structure is deviated into, converted into other forms. For example, in case of keratin. Keratin is a protein found in your hair, nail, etc. In keratin, this structure should be converted into this way. That is, it is just coiled like a spring. The linear form is coiled like a spring. So this structure is called a helical structure and it is called a secondary. Secondary helical. It is found in keratin. Another secondary structure in case of the silk. One of these primary structure is arranged in zigzag manner. Another one parallel to it. Another one again parallel to it. Adjacent fibers are connected together by hydrogen bonds. Their corners are connected together by hydrogen bonds. Now it is just resemble a three dimensional figure like this. It is called beta pleated. So in silk it is also called the same structure secondary but the name is secondary beta pleated. In keratin it is called a secondary helical. In silk it is called a secondary beta pleated. Here the two adjacent fibers are connected together by H bond. Weak H bond. We can split up this bond by heating that. Here also in case of the keratin the adjacent helices are connected together by hydrogen bonds. Here also this dotted line indicates hydrogen bond. So this is a fundamental structure found in all protein primary structure. In case of the keratin it is secondary helical this structure is coiled. In case of silk the two or more primary structures are connected together by hydrogen bond and this is the second structure. Third one in some proteins like myoglobin myoglobin the same primary structure is coiled like a bowl like a bowl and you can see hydrogen bonds between them if you enlarge one part of this one one coil of this one if you enlarge it it should be a secondary helical that means a secondary helical structure is made up of primary. So secondary helical structure is further coiled and it forms a ball like structure and it is found in myoglobin. So this is called a tertiary structure. Third structure, tertiary. So we can see primary structure, all amino acids are arranged in a sequence and it is linear. In case of the keratin, this primary structure is coiled and connected together by hydrogen bonds. That is called a secondary helical. In case of the silk, two or more primary proteins are connected together by H bonds and that resemble a beta pleated three-dimensional figure. And in case of the myoglobin, secondary helical fiber is further coiled like a ball and that is called a tertiary structure. Now in case of Hemoglobin. That is our question. Fourth question. HB. HB is called hemoglobin. This is the pigment found in your blood. Oxygen transporting pigment found inside your RBC. So in case of this HB, this type of four proteins, one bowl, another bowl, another bowl, 
another ball. How many balls? Four balls. They are connected together by hydrogen bonds. So it is highly complicated and it is called a quaternary structure. Quaternary. So first fundamental structure found in all protein, primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary. This is the most complicated structure in case of the HB. You know four polypeptide chains are there. And these chains are called 2 are alpha, 2 are beta. That means one HB carries two alpha chains and two beta chains. So that has which structure? Quaternary structure. So let us watch the question. Protein present in hemoglobin has the structure known as primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, none of this. Our answer is D option, quaternary. This is the quaternary structure. Two alpha, two beta. 